Hi, um, world of YouTube and so on. Basically, I've been following hashtag football club for the last three or four or five years. However, however long they have been around for. I was, since they started their league life, it's been amazing. I've been looking forward to seeing the highlights of each game. It would be nice if they were on YouTube also showing highlights of the women's team as well as the men's, because that's very important as well, of course, um, as football is for all genders and all abilities. Um, with hashtag, um, the thing with hashtag is I am a supporter, as I said before, since since the beginning, really. Um the thing of how hashtag play is it's frustrating for their part timers because they have potential of doing more than they can. At the same time they're a very good team um for who they are and for where they've come from and so on. Why I'm saying this is frustrating is I think every football fan will find it frustrating when you support a part-time club that they can't achieve, but maybe a um, full-time but also high-level part-time, maybe. Um, with Hashtag, when they attack in games, they have some great individual talent, got potential. But Walla Larson and but everybody really. I don't know individual players out because everyone is capable of doing good. As having Harry Honesty as well, I guess. Um but no more singling players out, really. If I can help it. Um with hashtag the thing is they create quite a lot, but they're very good at missing sitters. Very good missing sitters, at not being clinical enough, and not finishing games off quickly. You rarely get hashtag winning a game five or six nil, and yeah, and I think hashtag last season. I think they should have got given promotion considering the position they were in, and I think it was ridiculous that teams above who finished in automatic places got promotion. And in the non-league, they didn't. It was avoided. I think that's ridiculous, to be honest. I think most football fans will find that ridiculous. And um, the way the government have handled COVID and handled the football afterwards is absolutely crazy. Um, also, about one thing also I've got a problem, problem with is this is the mainstream footballing culture. Is that um, the FA want groundsmen stuff and so on to put fertilizers on a pitch that destroys the soil? It rots the soil, and the soil is not naturally the same um, as it should be. And um, if forest green rovers and with organic football pitches. They put compost on top, and that's obviously not to be running in compost on game day, but um, that does do great for the for the grass, as well as for the soil, which is very important for football, um, because also pesticides are very unhealthy for footballers, and um, obviously everyone wants to do the things the most healthiest way, not the most unhealthy way. And um, if also, like, plant-based meat is very good and um, very good for your diet, very good for your um, energy, for your fitness, for recovery, as well as um, veganism. Um, but, yeah, just saying um, that you don't need meat to be strong. You can find other diets and other ways which could help and also might help for um, for screen 
might help um, hashtag um, players with a recovery from injury, less likely to pull muscles and so on, as well as having obviously the nutritionists you have. Um, why am I saying this all? It's because we've got a small squad, which is very frustrating. Um, for being a fan, you'd want to add, add be able to add another five players, um, or six players, or seven players, because we've got some like 14, 15 players, and to be able to really rotate during a match, between back-to-back -back matches in such a brutal schedule of fixtures, it'd be good to have, be able to have, to be honest, I would say at least another seven players, um, so, yeah, basically, everyone gets some time in games and stuff. And you're more likely to be fresh for the FA Cup and for the FA Vays um, of ours, what you call it. And obviously the league, which is very important because I think also, um, which is important because we want to do well and as best as possible, we need to do better than last season. Also... I think the hunger of last season needs to be more proactive on the pitch. I think you switch off like a light switch. And when you switch off a light um, switch, you'll put one of the easiest teams to actually concede a goal. Or an opposition to score a goal against. Um, but when you really are focused, when you really are on the ball, alerted, you're very good. And um, you've got potential. It's just um, how many players who have dropped from a Premier League academy who are falling through the system and we can take, and they can end up at hashtag and get hashtag following, firing away again. Um, that's really, to be honest, what, how, it's, how every fan would want it be to be like... Um, because we want Hashtag to have a strong, bright, great future. And we've got best, we've got a better fan base than most clubs outside the Premiership and Championship in this country. Um, basically, because I think the amount of foreign fans we have is incredible. And all this hate that Hashtag getting, oh, we've got no heritage, we've got no... We've got no town, we've got no stadium, and like, but we've got more away fans, no more away fans, we've got more international fans than you or ever or have, and it's because of YouTube, and it's because of the people who present hashtag, and the way they do it, and the way everything is done is perfect, and these players who come to hashtag are a great part of the community of the club. Um, so yeah, I want to say that I have to think that if we want to get any further in the FA Cup, the last two teams we struggled against, if I have to be brutally honest, we wasted in front of goal. We probably didn't create enough and when we did we probably um was stage fright or something i don't know what happened because i thought we could actually get through that without penalties and that goal they scored no i'm not gonna take away from them that was a fantastic free kick um and then our equalizer was fantastic as well um but please don't leave it to the 85th minute to take a game to penalties or something um Finish the game off, be clinical, defend well. You defended fantastic. That free kick was just a very good free kick. But this hashtag is the thing is the tendency of switching off and the tendency of not being at it enough. Also, what's the disadvantage of being um, part time players to say, for instance, players who be a part of academy of a full time club, like say, Imagine um, 
Hansi Flick at Bayern Munich came as a temporary manager, caretaker manager, one of the treble what um, Marcel Bacella has done at Leeds. The way he coaches his team, the way he gets them like galvanised, gets the best out of them. I mean, Hansi Flick did this at Bayern Munich and he was assistant manager when Germany won the World Cup and he's a caretaker manager. He's not had the great experience at being first team manager, but he's learned on the job. And I think the thing is, what we're trying to do at Hashtag is very Sunday League, not Sunday League, that's not the right word, very um, non-league style and very punting the ball, kicking it over um, downfield. But if our players can gain the confidence to play more on the ground, play between one-twos, and so on. And first time touches, same thing really, but yeah. To someone else in space, then it opens up corridors, you know, it's things like this we get, we see in the higher divisions. Um, you can't say, well, that's too high level for me, that's too good for me. Well, I'm not good enough for that. I mean, yeah, anyone is capable of a certain degree of better than they expect them to be sometimes. And I think at Hashtag United, the thing is, we play so basic that teams can read you sometimes. And I think that teams at this level can't read you. Then teams in the next level will, will, will read you, will find you. And... um. We want to be a bit more clever about how we play, how our style is. We want to be more, I don't know, just, you know, have an identity of just, when you're defending, you press, 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 press. When you're playing, when you've got the ball, try to hold on to the ball. Keep possession. Don't make these silly passes. And then, obviously, they've got the opposition, opposition have got the ball. I mean, some of the passes I saw in the FA Vase um, highlights and it was just like, oh my God, really? we got to play a lot better than that. We did play well in the FA Cup. We did play very well in the FA Cup. But these things needed us down again. And sometimes when they defend, when they were attacking, we backed off too much and... We created space for them too much. And then when we had a chance, we didn't create, create enough chance, space for the person on the ball. And then one second, oh God, I'm in the FA Cup here. And then, then miss a short chance. And then you miss three sitters and a half or something. And, you know, yeah, it's frustrating. I wish we could buy another seven players who could make more difference and more how it is at the higher level in the non-league. If I'm probably more talking football league style. Um, but yeah, um, you're capable of what you're capable of, but I believe you can go a step higher, a step further. And... When Jay says you, uh, you've done very good, I would say that's only very good. When he says you can do way, way better than that, I want to see way, way better than that. I want to see better than the best he's seen from you. Because on a consistent level, because that's what's needed at the level you play. You need the very best on a consistent level. You won't be... 7, 6, 15, 16 footballers who play part-time. But if he knows you can play very better than that, you can play better than he would expect. I mean, it's frustrating to have the manager saying he knows you can do way better than that. You're not switched on in here, you're not doing enough. I'm like, Well, yeah, they're not. And, you know, fans think that. They might not speak. Their 
opinions all the time. But I think also that every fan has got to be listened to. And I think f- footballers at Hashtag and every club has got to listen to their fan and work for the club. Especially like a club like an interactive club like Hashtag who wants to be part of the community, wants to listen to the community and listen to how it is. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget the hashtag.